So the biggest challenge during the process was to make such a system where you have to add water, which asks a little extra from the consumer. How do you design it in such a way that it becomes attractive to them and they are willing to buy it? Because actually this project focuses on normal consumers and it's harder to let them take that step extra. Uh, than, than someone who is really into vegan and into green. and um, So that's where the design played a big role. Another challenge that I had was um, I wanted to have a proof that it would work. But the bigger companies didn't want to uh, collaborate and it was a struggle to find students because it's a really long process. It takes about one or two years to develop. So I couldn't find any people who wanted to do the laboratory or the chemical research with me. Uh, so in the end, I just had to assume that it's possible. Uh, and with that, I needed to design something which um, had the, go the aim to show people what this uh, solution could look like and could show to industry that there are people waiting for this. I researched consumer behavior and also like I looked at trends that are currently uh, occurring. For instance, the Dopper and Zapier, they played a big role in commercially making green products attractive. And I did find that there is about 80%, 90% by literature research that there is that amount of water. But there was a lot I needed to assume. Uh, luckily, during Dutch Design Week, I got a lot of attention and a lot of people passed by also from cleaning-related uh, uh, industries, and they said it's possible. The focus was not on designing a new shampoo. The focus was more on changing an industry and the way an industry thinks, because if I would have been focused on uh, a new shampoo or changing people's behavior, I would go for uh, a product that would lead to no shampoo at all because that's like the perfect solution. Uh, but I didn't think that that's realistic at this time. Um, I think that would be far more into the future. So I really focused on how can I change the industry to think differently and how can I make consumers take that extra step that they also benefit from this solution because a lot of green products actually are a bit dusty still uh, and I think it's a task of a designer to change that into something that you really want instead of something that you don't want but it's better so you buy it.